What's going on everyone? Matesh here with Tech, and today we're going to be talking about Google Home Routines. Now, I've made a video about this before, but once again, things have changed, so we're redoing this video. And I asked on my community tab if you guys knew what Google Home Routines were slash knew how to use them, and over 72% of you said you either didn't know what they were or did not know how to use them. So today we're going to cover some of the basic stuff about how to use them, how to customize them to better suit your needs, and later on we're going to have another video where we make our own custom routines. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start off by answering the question, what is a routine? So a routine is a set of commands that Google Home will perform when you just say one keyword or a, you know, a phrase that Google Home will understand. So one of the common ones that I think most people at least have heard about somehow is good morning. So when you say, you know, activate your Google Home and say good morning to it, it will respond with the weather for the day, your commute, uh, tell you about news or, you know, play some music or something like that if you have it customized to do that. So that is one of the most common routines and I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make changes to that. So let's go to our phones. All right, so on our phones, we're of course gonna go ahead and open up the Google Home app. So I have that open now. And on here at the very top, you can go ahead and see that there is this sun slash moon icon that's called routines. So we just go ahead and tap into that. And in there, you can see all the different routines that you have that are you know already there. Uh, if you click on it, actually, it's gonna go ahead and perform that routine, so don't do that. Instead, hit that manage routines button at the bottom and it will take you to a place where you can manage your routines. So at the top, you'll have any custom routines that you've made, which I have one that I've made. Um, we'll go over how to do that in another video, but for right now, we're gonna take a look at some of these other ones. So for example, good morning. Like I said, that's the one that I think most people know about and it's the most common one. So inside of here, you'll see a list of things that I can do so first of all at the top is you know when I say these three phrases so when you say good morning or tell me about my day or I'm up Google will perform these actions you can also add to this list if you want to add you know some other phrase that you say when you wake up in the morning I'm fine with good morning for now so the things that it's gonna do and it's gonna do it in this order you can also change the order as you can see with that change order button but we're gonna leave it as it is for now so the first one is take your phone off silent. So if you do this on your phone, it will actually take it off silent. If you don't do it on your phone, your Google Home will tell you that it can't take your phone off silent. Just a small thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off because I usually don't perform this on my Google on my uh, phone. I actually perform it with my Google Home most of the time. So I'm going to turn that one off. Uh, next up, we have adjust lights or plugs. So if you have lights or smart plugs inside your house, it can do that. So you can hit that settings button and you can see all the lights that I have inside of my house. If I want to, say, turn on the study light when I'm awake in the morning, I can go ahead and have it do that. And then I'll just click it so that it knows to do that one. If you have that unchecked, but you've done that, it won't do anything. So make sure you guys, you know, check it if you want that thing to be done. A great use of this routine, I definitely think, is like if you have a coffee maker that's plugged into a smart plug, that is a great way to have coffee started brewing as soon as you wake up in the morning. You know, say good morning to your Google Home, and it will go ahead and start your coffee brewing right away. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I think that is a great way to start your day. And if you have any other lights that you want to turn on, you know, if you have some bedroom lights that are smart lights and you want to control this way, it's a great way to do it. Uh, next up, adjust thermostat. If you, you know, if you don't have a normal schedule and you don't have your schedule set to your thermostat, you can have it turn into your morning settings or whatever you have. Um, I just let my thermostat go, so I don't usually mess with that one. Uh, tell me about the weather. Self-explanatory. It tells you about the weather. Tell me about my commute. Uh, if you hit that settings button, you can update your commute inside of there. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, so it will tell me about my commute in the morning. Uh, next up, tell me about today's calendar. If you have any calendar remind appointments like that, it will tell you in the morning when you wake up, you know, today's reminders. Uh, adjust media volume. So, you know, before it starts playing something, if you want to adjust the volume, you can do that. Uh, I'm just going to leave it. And then finally, you can have it play music, news, radio, podcast, uh, audiobooks if you bought something from Google Home. Uh, I think news is the most common. And then if you go into settings, you can pick what you want to play. I like the Up First podcast from NPR, but... If you, whatever you prefer, there are a ton of sources inside of here, and you can pick whichever one you prefer, like BBC NewsHour, uh, DW News Brief, whatever that is. I don't even know, but you know, whatever you like, 
you can go ahead and have it play. So that's a great little thing. Um, you can also add other news sources if you want more than one news source to play simultaneously or one after the other sequentially. So while you're getting ready in the morning, you can go ahead and, you know, listen to a couple different news sources or, you know, listen to a podcast or something like that if you prefer that in the morning. So that I think is a great routine to customize. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and discard these changes. I don't need those. So yeah, that is how you go ahead and edit your routines and then set them up to how you want them to be. And if you guys didn't know about some of these other routines like bedtime, leaving home, I'm home, all those things that you maybe didn't know you can get Google Home to perform a bunch of things based on that. So for example, for example, commuting to work or actually commuting home. So when I tell it, let's go, uh, I have it do a couple of things for me. So I have it tell me about my commute home, you know, so it tells me how many long it'll take me to get home. But then if you see at the bottom, I actually have this custom one too that says send a Hangouts message to my wife saying heading home. Me and my wife use Hangouts to communicate and then it'll just let her know that I've left work and I'm on my way home. And if you see that button at the bottom, add action, you can go ahead and add a custom action like the one you guys saw to this. So basically when you're adding an action, what you want to do is think about what you would say to Google Home to do that action and then just type it out because that works too. So, uh, for example, I wanted to, I don't know, uh, turn the thermostat, uh, turn the thermostat to home and I'll just add that command. And then when I run it, it will go ahead and act like I verbally said that command and will run it. So yeah, that is another great little thing you can have to it. Uh, you can just go ahead and hit save. Oh yeah, make sure you hit that check mark at the top if you want to save. And of course, it'll tell you when you're leaving this thing. So yeah, those are routines. They are super powerful way to, you know, get stuff done really quickly with Google Home and just have a better overall experience with Google Home because, you know, you don't have to ask it to constantly do a whole bunch of things. Instead, just one phrase and it will do a whole bunch of things for you. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little thing that, you know, I think if you can make use of it, it's great. It's very powerful. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.